So you see, if I were president, I'd run the country like a Broadway show. I'd pick my cabinet and try them out right here in Atlantic City. <laughs> oh, yes. The best audiences. And if they clicked here, I'd let them open in New York and a few other cities. <laughs> We'd do one night stands for four years, and by then they'd have to re-elect me so I could actually do something at the White House. <laughs> Nice to see you. I see you've met Annabelle. George was telling me all about the cutlery business. Oh, yeah. Oh, knife and spoon, you fork as well. How about a dance? Pleasant surprise. I heard the news about Mayor Bader. Congratulations. Well, I certainly owe a debt of gratitude to you. Then you could offer me a drink. The champagne okay? The good news just isn't the same without it. How are the children? They miss their Uncle Nucky. Quiet, everyone! Quiet! Quiet! We got it on the wireless! Quiet! Illinois, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Florida, Michigan, North Carolina, and Rhode Island. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Frank Conrad with the official results of the election. Transmitting live over the wireless from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Can you believe it? Pipe down, lady. With 48 states reporting, it's Warren Harding with nearly 60% of the popular vote. <laughs> yes, yes, and this just in. Challenger James M. Cox has moments ago conceded to a capacity crowd at Dayton Fairgrounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Warren Gamaliel Harding has been elected the 29th president of the United States. <laughs> Thank you. 